Hi right, guys, welcome back to problem 510 from the fundamentals of chapter 5. Uh, so this problem will be dealing with uh, the same kind of reaction forces as the last one we just did. In this case we have, hopefully we can solidify the moment equations. You know, that's probably the hardest part of this. But first let's look at the three journal bearings here, A, B, and C. So we know A, you know, this rod can't move upward to the or side to side, so we you know, have reaction force in the AZ and the AY direction. This one will can move up, so it's going to have BZ in some reaction in the X direction here. X. Okay. And then the last one is C. So I have, I'm just going to put it here. So ZZ and then. Let's just say positive C Y. Okay, and we have this my, uh, this 450 newton force there already. So okay, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be forces in the x direction. Okay, and let's see what are those forces. So in the x direction we have B X equals zero. Whoa. It's so hard. Okay, so we have that one. The next one will be forces in the y direction. Okay, so in the y direction we have ay. What else? What else? We have cy plus cy. And that's it. And last but not least, forces in the z. We have a z, b z, uh, minus four fifty. Let's not forget that one, like I did last in the last problem. And we have c z plus c z. Okay, and that's it. So again, we run into that problem where there's too many unknowns. Okay, so that forces us to do forces about the x axis. Sorry, moments about the x-axis and yeah, equals zero. Okay. All right. So let's see which forces are parallel to x. Well, b x, right? So that's not going to contribute moment. <clears throat> now, which moments are already um, touching or intersecting um, the x-axis? Well, we have. CY, if we look at CY, the line of action, right, it's going to hit X. So that doesn't make it rotate about X. Okay. AZ and AY are already on X, okay, because they're on the origin. All right. So that leaves us with BZ, 450, and CZ, okay, as contributing moment to that, to that uh, axis. Okay. So let's do, so BZ will make it rotate positive, so BZ times 0.6, okay, then we have CZ, and again, this will be positive, CZ times 1.2, okay, uh, let's see, and then last but not least, we have 450, so minus 450 times 1.2 equals 0. All right, so we can't really do much with that one. All right, so then let's do moments about the y-axis. Okay, so let's discard CY. Let's discard BX and AZAY. Okay. So let's do BZ times 0 0.6, okay? And that'll be, let's see, going clockwise, so negative. What else, 450, so plus 450 times 0 0.6, all right? And then CZ. So, like a minus 
CZ times 1. Okay, so right away we can we know that these two equations up over here uh, can be rewritten as in terms of BZ and then plugged into one into the next equation. So we can solve BZ and CZ using these equations. Okay, but we'll still do moments about Z. Okay, now I'll go slow so you can try to like do it ahead of me. Okay, so let's see forces that are not in the z direction and forces that are not touching the z all right so let me start with bx times 0.6 okay negative okay then Cy times one equals zero. Boom. Okay. Now let's let's look at this. Bx from the very first equation we did was zero. This is zero. That means Cy is also zero. Okay which then means a y is zero. Okay. So then we're just gonna have to focus on these. Oh man, that's a horrible curly. Okay. So here, I'm just gonna add these two equations together. Okay. Because I already, 0.6 bz plus minus bz 0.6, that's gonna give me zero. So let's, let's add them up here. So it's going to be 0, then CZ 1.2 plus minus CZ. So that'll be 0 0.6 CZ. All right. And then here, again, I'm going to have 450 minus 450, 1.2. Uh, plus 450.6 that will give me negative 270 equals 0 and then right away I say CZ equals 450 450 okay and then so I'm just going to go back to either either equation here Okay, and solve for BZ. So here I'm just gonna say BZ, right? It's gonna be 450 times 0.6 minus 450 divided by 0.6. And that's 300 newtons. Okay. And last but not least, let's go back to our forces in the z direction. All right. So we have bz. So we have 300 minus 450 plus 450. That gives me a positive 300. So bringing it over to the right side of the equation, I get negative 300. Minutes. Okay. So it means we only guessed wrong in this one. So we, az should have been going down instead of up. So that's it. And again, depending on your professor, you can either leave it like this or you have to fix it and you know make it pretty. All right? Hopefully you were able to keep up with this example. And but that's pretty much the fundamentals of like this whole chapter. It's just finding reactions, taking moments, and summation of forces. And that's it. Alright. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.